All right, hopefully you guys can hear me okay over the heater running here. So I've got everything disassembled finally for the driveline on this Cub Cadet 86. And basically everything is worn pretty much. Um, let's see here. So this is the, uh, the drive plate and this is the end that I had about 45 thousandths of an inch of wear on the bushing plus it's seriously boogered up from well years of use or years of abuse one of the one or both of those things <clears throat> the uh, clutch has seen better days it's about well it's probably pretty well beyond had it I'd say the flywheel or the pressure plates are getting to be pretty bad. They're not supposed to be cupped like that. The clutch actuating rod I actually had to cut off um, when I assembled it the last go around for some reason I had something that was part of the clutch was grinding on the end of this rod and boogered it all up so I didn't have much choice left but to cut the end of it off there this is the part that I made the last time for this and I actually made a uh, sheet metal sleeve of sorts that went over this but it's gone I mean it's just evaporated it's disintegrated <laughs> so I don't know where it went I just know it you know wore itself out and disintegrated but I had originally welded this all up built this all back up because it was you know worse than than you see right now but it kind of looks like it needs it again And this is somebody's attempt at a clutch pedal return spring, so I think I can work with this. I'm just going to fix the hook on this end or make turn it into a hook again. But on a much better note, oh, and so this is one thing that I'm absolutely going to have to make a new version of. Um, this is the adapter from the rear of the drive shaft to the input of the transmission. And this is wallered out pretty badly here. All right. So about 20 thousandths of an inch, so that's definitely going to need to be, be dealt with. But out of all this, I caught a super lucky break because I had almost forgotten that sometime back I happened to be out at Century and somebody was throwing away a pretty good amount of a Cub Cadet 1200. So, me being me, I scrounged up everything I could from the drive line of it. And for the life of me, I, I can't remember, maybe this clutch assembly I had gotten from another, another one out at Century, I, I can't remember for sure, but this clutch and set of pressure plates looks like it's in really good condition, so. I've got a backup to the backups. So being from a, that is from a 1200, most of the things, most of the parts are very similar. Um, this is a f flexible uh, drive coupling 
but I don't see any reason why I can't use it on this machine so I'm gonna at least give this a try first since it's got all of its pins are still in pretty good shape this guy here happens to be slightly different length but all I've got to do is cut the end of this off a little bit and I should be golden there and it looks like that's also a slightly different length but I'm not worried too much about that since this one's still functional and that's assuming I can't use that one which I'm going to try and do that right off the bat anyways the other thing that seems to be a little bit different is on the back end here this is where this is where the drive shaft is coupled to the transmission input it does not have the hole in the same location here but that's okay I'm thinking about making a longer version of this to adapt to that anyways I mean since I have to make one of these regardless I might as well just go ahead and make it fit this particular situation so anyways I'm off to a good start on that there's probably going to be precious little machining with the exception of this guy right here and maybe well I'm not, I'm not even going to touch the pressure plates on that I'm just going to put them into service and see how they operate um, the other thing is I wound up with a sump pump failure today so I had to make a trip to Menards anyways so I went ahead and got a new battery for this John Deere yellow paint to start painting rims and mower decks for the John Deere's and a piece of um, well basically decorative metal so that I can start making or try to start making some rep replacement grills for the John Deere's or a couple of the John Deere's and I've got the mower deck on the Cub Cadets mower deck up on the stand so that I can start uh, do a little bit of service on it as well so at any rate I'm gonna tinker with this for a little while and see if I can uh, get the drive drive shaft equipment cleaned up and partially reassembled and greased up and see how it's going to uh, turn out so I'll catch up with you guys later